G'day guys, Tristan here from Missing at Sea. We'd love to give you a detailed look at the area 4.8 meter by Ocean Works. We have been using this boat for the last couple of months and let me tell you, this thing is an absolute weapon. We have been using it both offshore and inshore. There's so much to run through. We hope you enjoy this video. This is the detailed look at the area 4.8 meter by Ocean Works. Now, first things first here at Missing at Sea, we are a fishing tackle company. So for us, it's incredibly important to have a boat that can handle both the rough offshore conditions as well as your estuary stuff in the shallow water. Now this boat, it's 4.8 meters and it can handle an absolute punch. So it's constructed from high tensile aluminum. You're gonna see four mil bottom and three mil sides. Now, as the boat spins here, you're gonna see the aggressive dead rise at the front here. And there's also a chime that runs all the way from the bow to the stern. Now this thing, it literally eats up the swell. We've never been in a boat that rides like this. It also disperses the spray incredibly well. It is a very dry boat. Now, being 4.8 meters, it can handle a lot more than what a normal 4.8 meter boat can handle due to its construction. Now, if we actually jump inside the boat, you're gonna see the layout of this thing is literally built for the ultimate day's fishing. Um, I've had my family in the boat. You know, we've got three kids and it's fantastic. All the kids and my wife can fit in here. But then when we switch over to the aggressive fishing side of things, it can also handle that. So for this size of a boat, this thing is an absolute machine. Okay, now that we're inside the boat, we'll start from the bow and we'll work our way back to the stern, okay? You're gonna see I'm right up the front here. We've got the anchor well next to where the motor guide is bracketed to. And there's essentially another little cast platform at the front here on the bow. This is great for people who like getting up high and sight casting fish in the shallows. Now, if we jump down to the casting deck. Let me tell you, for a 4.8 meter boat, like I said, this casting deck is huge, okay? There's plenty of room. You can have two, three anglers up here all casting. Um, there's a lot of depth to it as well. Now, on the port and starboard side, you're gonna see, we've got these little, um, this is a great feature actually, these gunnel pockets that go down both sides. Fantastic to put, you know, lures in. Uh, you can keep your fenders or your rope in there, some drink bottles. It's just a great bit of storage on both sides. Now, if we look at the front here, we've got a huge, storage hatch. We keep our tackle bags in there, safety gear. Um, you know, if you're taking a bunch of food out, you can put it all in there. It is massive, okay? I don't know the exact literage, but I can tell you there's a lot of room. Then in front of that here where we've got our um, fish measuring tape, this is the kill tank, okay? Hopefully there's no fish in there. No, there you go. We've had Spanish in here, snapper, big flathead. It can handle a lot. So we filled it with ice, you know, it'll keep ice in there all day. You, if you're a tournament fisherman, you can plumb it so that your brim or your target species can stay alive. It's huge, okay? We use that as both our esky, um, and it also doubles up as more storage if you're doing long range trips. So this actual casting deck up here is massive. You know, my kids jump up here, my wife's been up here sun baking. It is massive for the size of the boat, it's huge. And then you'll see around the sides, really wide gunnels. We've got all the tread on there, so you can jump up and fish there if you need. This is the bow of the 4.8. We'll start working our way back towards the stern. Okay, as we work our way to the midsection of the boat here, one thing that I want to point out is the incredible stability that this boat has. If I jump up onto the gunnels here, you'll see the boat isn't rocking much at all. I don't know how they do it, but this boat is incredibly stable, okay? It does not rock a lot. You can see I'm right on the edges here, and the boat's hardly moving at all. Awesome feature, okay. Now, if we jump down into the midsection here next to the console, it is a side console setup, so there's heaps of room again. We've got gunnel pockets down the port and starboard sides. Um, we've got our rods along the front here. Then there's also a whole lot of room here where you can keep tackle bags, um, esky, stuff like that. Quick feature if you run around here, this is really cool. This is just one of those extra little kind of touches that's just a nice thing to have. If you open this, you can access all of your electronics inside of there. Now that's just a classy finish that again adds to the quality of this Ocean Works boat. It's just so handy. If you need to muck around with the electronics, change fuses, you've got great access point right there. So we lock that up. So we've talked about the console. We've got all the gunnel uh, pockets down the side. Steering wheel. Let's just talk about steering wheels, okay? If you're in a nice sports car, you're holding onto a really nice steering wheel. Look at this. This thing, this is just built for speed. I know it's just a little feature, but I actually love the fact that I've put such a classy steering wheel on there. Okay, moving over to the seats. 
the passenger seat and the captain's seat. This, is, this has got the flip down, which is great. You just feel like you're in a, in a racing car in this thing. You can see so much room, like so much room. It blows me away actually how much room's in here. So I've got the captain's seat. This seat here for the passenger can actually move. Okay, there's two access points. If you wanna have some uh, more room down the back, you can switch it up. You can bring that seat here. We like having both seats at the back. Now we'll start to work our way back to the stern. Okay, now we're down at the business end of the boat. We've got the 90 horsepower four-stroke Mercury. Now, this thing absolutely flies. At full steam, you get over 70 k's an hour. In terms of fuel efficiency, due to the design of this hull, at max noise, you're getting over 70 k's an hour and you're getting about two and a half kilometers per litre. Then at cruising speed, okay, which is around about that 50 k an hour, you're getting about 3.4 to 3.5 kilometers per litre, which is absolutely insane. And that is obviously comes down to how good the modern day four stroke is, but more to the point, it's the hull design and how it disperses the water, which is why you get such good fuel efficiency. Okay, another, look, this, we have to talk about this. We love our jigging, okay? When we're jigging offshore, a lot of the time due to the current, we're having the boat in reverse because we try to keep the lines vertical. You'll see a great feature here is if they've got the splash well. So it's a, it's a closed off transom to a degree. So when we're reversing, the water is staying in the transom. It's not coming back into the boat. Something that I've always hated in the smaller boats is when it's open and you get the water coming back over. Okay, now on both the port and starboard side, you've got hatches here. Now how we've configured it, We've got a live bait tank, okay? There's probably a couple of live still floating around in there, not just a few old lures. Anyways, that live tank can hold a lot of fish. It's got uh, no square edges. It's, it's kind of rounded at the edges, which is a great design, which means the bait fish can swim around and around. It's plumbed, it keeps a lot of live bait um, swimming all day long. Then on this side, this is where we get access to our batteries. Um, and it kind of doubles up as some added storage, okay? But again, you've got a rear casting deck and again, just showing how good the stability of this boat is. So if we're jigging, um, we can have people jigging off the back here, backing up to the current, no water's coming in. Again, just showing how good this boat is both offshore and inshore. So this is the rear end. This is where we're obviously loading up for fuel. We've got a, um, a there's a ladder there. If the kids and the wife wants to jump in, um, I mean, just look at this. Look how much room you've got. 4.8 meter boat, it blows my mind. Now guys, hopefully this gives you some insight into the 4.8 metre area by Ocean Works, okay? At Missing at Sea here, we spend a lot of time on the water. In fact, probably every second day, we're out there fishing, pushing these boats to the absolute extreme. So if you have any questions, you can message us directly here at Missing at Sea. Otherwise, the team at Ocean Works are fantastic. They've been in the industry, you know, for 20 odd years, building boats, they know their stuff. And when it comes to the Ocean Works brand, all you're getting is superior quality. So I hope this uh, video gives you some insight. If you need any further questions, you can message us directly here at Missing at Sea or the team at Ocean Works. But this thing is a very, very special boat and it could be your next boat for your fishing and outdoor adventures.